Hi, this is Joe, CEO of MR Diagnostic Services. I've been in the field working on clinical level analyzers, FDA approved human testing analyzers for the last 40 years, chemistry analyzers, hematology, immunology, and a whole host of other modalities and manufacturers. And I'm saying that just to let you know that I'd like to share my understanding of a question that we constantly get, which is actually the wrong question, but I wanted to explain why. Now, when people call us, they ask us, will a quick scan 1000, will that read the same way as my vet testing lab? Say the vet testing lab is running a mini Vetus, or it's running an IDEX, or it's running a TOSO, or it's running an Emulite 1000. And my answer is always no, because after 40 years, I know that different types of equipment from different manufacturers do not give out the same number, even on the same test, even on the same sample, it won't give you the same number. And the quick answer for why is because the way, the methodology of all these instruments are different. The software is different, the calculations that they use are different. And let me give you a, a quick example. The Emulite 1000 is a chemiluminescent measurement. It's, it's light. It's measuring light. The Mini Vetus is a fluorescent measurement, which measures dark black light. And the QuickScan 1000 is a version of the, of the chemiluminescent. And there's all sorts of other types of instruments that measure in different methodologies. And when they do different methodologies, the numbers are always going to be different. Example. If you ran a test on an IDEX and you had a 5, and then you ran that same test on a Mini Vetus, you would probably get 10. That's just how f different these two analyzers would be. Now, the key is this chart you're looking at right in front of you now. The number that comes out of the instrument is not the important part. It's how that number is interpreted to make sure that that number reads correctly on this chart of when the best timing is for any particular uh, part of the breeding cycle. That's the difference. So this chart is really the answer to your question. Will it correlate with my mini Vetus or my, my dog breeders or my, uh, my vet lab's results? No, but they don't need to. It doesn't need to correlate with them because you've got a chart here that's been developed specifically for the QuickScan 1000. Every instrument, like the IDEX, Mini Vetus, all of those instruments have had to have a chart like this developed specifically for them since the methodology, the delivery system, the software, a whole host of other things would cause the values to be different from instrument to instrument. That's why trying to correlate with your vet makes no sense whatsoever unless they're running the same exact instrument. So we simplify it by simply giving you this chart that's been developed over a period of months with real-life testing facilities out in the field, dog breeders that are actually running 90 to 100 percent success rates on their litters, and vet labs doing the same, and all the other data that we collect that was on an earlier video. That's how we come up with this reading chart and that's all you really need. So when you buy the instrument, you get this reading chart. You don't have to worry about, is it going to read the same as the vet? Because it's not going to. But if it hits these numbers here, you can be sure that you're going to get results that are going to make you 95 to 100% accurate on every single time that you, uh, you are in the breeding mode. I appreciate your time. If you have any questions, please give us a call. Thank you.